Good afternoon, everyone. Cool FM Live Sports here, coming to you from the Cool FM studio here next to Little Caesar's Pizza. <laughs> we have our on the field show. Look at with this. John and Jared with our new banner showing all the prep sports logos all over Cochise County. Thank We've you to ALA. Wicked Limits. We got Benson. Shout out, huge shout out to <laughs> Wicked Limits. We're going to get you guys going and rolling with Cool FM here. We got Buena at the top. Coaches College. Yes, we do cover our college sports here in Coaches County. Benson Bobcats, the Guardians of ALA. We have the Wilcox Cowboys, the Bisbee Pumas on the 10-yard line, 5-yard line as they're going into the goal line. We got Marine Academy at the top, St. David, Bobcats. I believe Bobcats. Yep. I don't want to mess that up. Douglas Bulldogs and your Tombstone Yellow Jackets. So, Very cool. Awesome new addition to the show. Uh, just a just a shout out to Wicked Limits again for working with us and doing some amazing stuff. And we're going to see some exciting things for them doing some good things for Cool FM here in the near future. Maybe wrapping our van, oh, getting yeah. our van nice and nice and pretty and. <laughs> Good and looking sharp again. And they do an excellent job. We all know that. Yes, for sure. So, John, I was at a football game last night. You this, were? This this one over here. Uh, that? Yeah. yeah. Man, I don't know if anybody, everybody was watching <laughs> last night. Everybody in fear of this. Holy uh, if smokes. you were watching football, you were probably watching our game. Yes. Thank you so much to everybody that tuned in. You know, the the the, the results, you never, never want to see it come up short for Buena. But if you were a person that walked into that stadium last night and you haven't been keeping up with high school football in a while, and maybe you were just in the area and like, hey, the lights are on out there. Let's go see if there's a game on. And you walk in and you're like, is this a playoff game? I know. What is going on here? Is this the first or second or third round of the playoffs? It was so electric. Atmosphere was insane. It was so much fun. We were watching a big play after big play. That uh, So Marana... Number one team in the state, right? Overall, over all the 6A, 5A, 4A, everybody. Number one team in the state. When it goes in there, and the first quarter looked really, really rough. 14-0. 14-0. Moran was just working the, the Buena Colts. You know, actually, I shouldn't say that. It, it looked like it was a much stronger game, but they had two really big plays that just took it down. And plus, they had an onside kick. Oh, so after that second touchdown was an onside kick that they got. So Buena has been struggling with that just a little bit, mm-hmm. but when uh, on the next play, next play it comes right back Fumbled to Buena. the ball and and Cooper K- Kraus got in there and got the fumble recovery and Buena in the second quarter never looked back from that. Dude, it was they scored twenty one unanswered points. Uh, they scored a late touchdown right before half. Nodded the game up at 28 all at halftime. And John was looking at me and says, were you expecting this, Jared? Heck yes, I was expecting this. This was the game of the year between the two of the top teams in Southern Arizona. After that 14 points uh, that uh, Miranda put up, Buena put up a net, just 21. Or no, they, went four, they went 14, mm-hmm. and then uh, Miranda scored. Buena scored, and this is this is in the last two minutes. So Buena just started putting the putting the hurt on uh, Miranda, of course, like huge play, big uh, big kick return, and then a big uh, big was like a swing pass that went for a touchdown. Mm-hmm. I mean, as you can see over here, you know Miranda's on offense right there, and um, they they ran with that number one and the number five Roebuck. They were incredible, two two stud players. Oh, can you see that? That's a flag. They had something like 15 flags in the first half. Morana was not looking That's good. That's going to hurt them later on in the playoffs in the open division. And Buena looked so sharp. Yeah. So sharp. And they so they tie the game up at halftime, back and forth, back and forth. And they scored just before the halftime. And so there's nine seconds left. And Morana brought the ball back down to the, what was it, the nine? No, no, no. It was like the 30 yard line. They had nine seconds left. And they throw to the end zone. Smack! Oh my gosh! Lit that kid up, 
separate the ball from the man. I don't separate the soul from the body. Yes, that was we got uh, called for it. Well, it was a penalty. Hey, I, but we stopped the touchdown. The way I look at it is, is like there's some fouls in basketball that you have to make. It's got to be a hard foul. The guy's going up, and you're going against Shaquille, and he's, you know you got to take both arms to swat him. I, that's the way I felt about this. It was a big wide receiver, and our defensive back was just like you know you aren't going to catch that ball. Hit him so hard. Slobber everywhere, ball <laughs> separates from the man, yes. ball on the ground. It was an incredible play. That ended yeah. the half at 28-28. And then, and then it gets even better. Buena receives the kick, mm-hmm. takes the ball down the field, and scores on the first. They take the lead and held the lead throughout the third, third quarter. quarter. It was amazing. So over the number one team in the state, Buena was holding their own, not only holding their own, was had the lead and pretty much owned that game until just the very end. The last three minutes. Yeah, it just kind of fell apart, unfortunately. But, you know, we're so proud of our boys. Oh, yeah. We're so proud of that program and where it's come. And, you know, talking in the post-game interview last night with Coach Thomas, you know, he said that's gonna it's going to hurt. You know, that one stung. Yeah. But you, whoever, gets, whoever draws the straw to face these guys the next two games, I feel sorry for because they're going to take it out on them. <laughs> yeah. Because they have had a taste of the playoffs last mm-hmm. night. And that's the way it's going to be uh, for anyone that's going to play Buena in the playoffs. We're going to see somebody that, yeah, they're going to try and do something to us, but we have the firepower to do some damage. <sighs> the passing game. So we know that Buena is a run-first offense. And they so, ran so well that they turned that – that second half, it, it had to be a passing game because they had kind of locked down the running game. We were getting more yardage in our, on our runs than they were getting on theirs. They only had two big runs that really accounted for all their carries. And that was that was the first carry that went for a touchdown. It was like a 53-yard touchdown. 58, I think. 58, yeah. And then, then, you know, all the small ones after that. So they, I think Buena actually ended up playing a much better game than Miranda. Miranda just felt like... They were falling apart, and uh, they seemed tired, honestly, in the first half, which is kind of scary. But Buena held their own, looked strong, uh, big game by all the stud players. Nash had a big run. Um, and real had, had some had some good good command with moving people down the field. He that there, there was a play where he was pointing to the, and putting the kid in the direction that he was going and pointing. Mm-hmm. To where I need you to run to, and he did, and he made that adjustment, and then threw that ball on the run off of his left foot, and just zinged it in there into the end zone, right, right before the end zone, the two yard line. He's now just some beautiful play. The quarterback on the other side had an incredibly strong arm, had just threw bullets, but Nash, I think Nash was the better quarterback. I think that other kid might be going D1 with the way he threw. Big, big kid. He's got to wait a while. He's a junior. Yeah, it's a junior. That's the scary thing. But Nash <laughs> came out there. We'll deal with him next year. We've talked about what Nash does incredibly well, and he made that fade ball look like he's doing it professionally. He, yeah. Him and Jaden Thomas and Walker and uh, number five, Elias, Elias Dyson, Dyson, he had a big game on offense and on defense and all those kick returns. Well, yeah, he probably yeah. had 200 yards all purpose. All together, yeah. yeah. I mean, he, he had he a had huge a game. a couple of end arounds and – Seven seven kick returns, you know, yeah. six of them went to him, one went to Scrappy, and that didn't go so well for uh, for Miranda. They're like, oh crap, we just kicked to the biggest kid on the team, and he just strongest kid. Yeah, he well, he's the strongest, and he smoked that kid uh, that was trying to tackle him. So, yep. uh, shout out to Scrappy, that was super cool, and also a shout out to Scrappy for becoming Buena's all time leading rusher last night in Incredible. game against Miranda. So. He has surpassed Jamal Womble uh, to become the Buenos leading rusher of all time. Rushing yards of 3,679 is no longer. It's 30, probably 3780 and climbing. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's probably going to get close to 4,000 yards in these next two games. We'll see yeah. what happens. And he he's a very quick back where you see why <clears throat> Lujan is more of a, oh, a one-step and cut kind of a power runner. Uh, Scrappy's also a power runner too, but he's got a little bit of shifty to him. He's got that horizontal lateral ability to like shift past someone and then hit full speed with his acceleration. 
I expect that he should be getting a, a scholarship here pretty soon. I would yeah, love we'll to see, see that. We'll see some offers starting to come for sure to this young man. So uh, shout out to Buena for an incredible performance last night, hanging with the number one team in the state. Yeah. We're going to go over some other scores. With, yeah. Uh, it was in Cochise County last night. There was only three games due to some bye weeks <laughs> and uh, playoff preparation for some other teams. So, so um, let's go over that score. Marana, 51. Buena Colts, 38. Huge game, of course. Uh, Wilcox. Oh, so that was Wilcox versus Benson. That was the game of the week, believe it or not. Yep. Even though we think that Buena <laughs> game was that game of the year, we're going to, as you can see, it's already on YouTube. So if you'd like to watch that game, Go to Cool FM Live Sports. Yep, Cool FM Live Sports on Facebook and on YouTube. So get get on that sub and subscribe. We'd love to see you. Um, yeah. Like and subscribe, I guess I should be saying. Um, we What else happened last night? We had that. Um, man, there there we go. Tombstone. For, oh, no, no. Let's go Wilcox. 39. Benson Bob Bobcats. 21. Mm -hmm. uh, Wilcox, I did not expect that. I kind of, I, all of these two A teams are super strong. They're all very similar levels. None of these teams are like by far and away better. I, I think some people would disagree that possibly uh, Bisbee is far and away the best. But uh, with the way they played against uh, Tombstone, Bisbee versus Tombstone, that was a very close game, twenty-seven to eighteen. That's rivalry. It, yeah, that's exactly. The, that's the Highway 80 rivalry. Um, you know, just seeing these guys go at it to see it only be a, a touchdown and a field goal oh, away. Um, but the difference in the game, uh, no, I'm sure if we go back to the highlights and watch that game live, it'll be something to <laughs> check out and watch and see how it, how it all came together and ended up. So, uh, bye week for Douglas and a bye week for... Um, Oh, so what's going on with St. David? So uh, they Saint are looking David about... Is, also had a bye week. And then they're, they're looking at a playoff game. First round of the playoffs next Friday at home. At home. So Go see it. You guys, are if you're not going to be at Buena with us, watching Buena versus Sunnyside, and you're more out in the Highway 82 area of Whetstone, just drive, drive down 82 and turn right and go watch, uh, or excuse me, go left and go check out St. David and... In the first round of the playoffs, those guys are always contending <clears throat> very well in the playoffs. Getting into probably uh, the semifinals, if not the finals, once again. They've been there uh, within the last five years, I want to say three times. Got to the state title game, or twice at least. So, solid program, good coaching staff over there. And, and um, you know, just the incredible athletes continue to excel there in, in, in eight-man football. Oh, you know, man. They, and they're getting scholarships. They, they play that eight-man football, and they end, they end up playing at the next level. And it's just like, wow, these guys are coming from the smallest school, the smallest classification school in AIA, mm -hmm. but they're still getting to the next level, getting to college. Good so, athletes. Good stuff. Uh, Bev, uh, Salmon Johnson, gr a great game. Final score doesn't do it justice. Uh, Colts hard work was a good game. So yeah, the final score it wasn't that it was much a closer game until just the very last bit. Yeah. Uh, it was a one touchdown game up until just that last uh, two minutes, one minute. Uh, so yeah, that was a very close game. You're totally right. And Brandy Alexander, they played their heart out. It was so awesome, so proud. And no kidding, that team when is going to go to the playoffs? People don't recognize this. They they've lost two games, but the games that they've lost. This game in particular actually still boosts them up, so they they gain ranking even though they yeah. lost. Yeah, because you're gonna you're gonna see Miranda win out. They only have one more game. Mm -hmm. They'll beat Desert View. Right. I mean, if we put a seventy spot on them, I feel bad. We'll see what the score is going <laughs> to end up with. Yeah, but break if, if you're smart as, as Philip Stewart is, the head coach at at Miranda, he'll probably rest a whole bunch of kids next week and have some other Run a bunch kids. of sophomores. You have some younger kids play in prepare in preparing for the first round of the open division playoffs, which they're going to end up Man. in. They're not going to play in the five A bracket. Oh, so we would also like to shout out. Um, uh, someone gave us. Uh, we would like to. <laughs> where, where were we? How do we say this so we don't sound like jerks? Back in the Morse. <laughs> we're back in Morse. Ed Morse. 
and all the Ed Morse Motor Group. We have a sponsor town. for Cool FM doing all the sports. Ed Morse, thank you so much. He's bringing uh, a lot of energy to the community. And what what's the what was the back in the Morse? Back in the Morse. That's their slogan. That's their that's their something little... like that. Sorry if we're messing that up. We'll work on it with <laughs> you guys, but. We're we're back in we're back in the new the new owner of all of our auto company here in town. It used to be Sean Lolly, now it's Ed Morse. And they're doing a phenomenal job already flipping everything over to to the Ed Morse yeah. style and Ed Morse uh, you know, mission, whatever it is. And you know, he will soon we'll soon have a chance probably to ha to be able to have him come to the dealerships and maybe speak to the community and, and, and hope to you know, help help you guys continue to buy cars and not have to go up the road to get them some from elsewhere. Because um, yeah. you know, there's a lot of good inventory. I've been driving by, and it seems like the inventory is increasing almost week by week. <laughs> it's like, wow, yeah. whoa! I didn't see that truck last time. Oh man, look at that one. Oh, that one's all shiny and fully loaded. What's going on <laughs> over there? Holy smokes! You know that that's what they're supposed to do. But anyway, we're gonna head into a little bit of uh, college yeah. football, and you. Feel free to watch this game if you're not if we're boring you. Look at yeah. this; that's a lot of fun. Michael Lujan for about a three yard carry. Yeah, right there. They, this is this is actually where they start putting up all their touchdowns. It's a twenty eight point second quarter, and that's what we're playing right here. So if you want to watch, check it out. Oh, well, sorry, John, about the uh, first score. Washington versus mm. Indiana. Washington got smoked, thirty one seventeen. I, you know, Washington has kind of disappointed me this year, but next year hopefully uh, we'll see something better. This is interesting. Alabama versus Missouri. Yes. Uh, Alabama's ranked number 15. Missouri is number 21. Alabama has a 13-0 lead in the third quarter. It Might looks as well like say it's going to be about 20 because it's second and goal. Oh, second and goal, yeah. So Bama's probably going to put up another touchdown. If not a field goal. Yeah, or a field goal. Let's see. BYU, U, uh, UCF, 21-10. 24 Twenty-four ten. I'm sorry. I mean, UCF cannot. is is a Big Twelve school now. That's crazy. Yeah, all that. We silly. stretch all the way from Orlando, all the way out to the West Coast in the Big Twelve. Oregon, Illinois. Coach Thomas is going to be happy. Thirty-five oh, to man, three. The ducks are rolling. That's he might be the national champion. I mean, I don't see anybody really. Well, who who would be the next best team? Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. So, so strength versus speed. That's the way. One versus two is probably going to look at the end of the year. Stanford versus Wake Forest. Stanford's losing to Wake Forest, 24-17. What else we got here? Texas is, is handling Vanderbilt pretty well. Oh, yeah. So 21-7, Vanderbilt ranked number 25. After that beating, uh, they put down, well, beating. They, they beat Alabama, so when they were number one. I'm not seeing much of a... Um, Competition coming from New Mexico and Colorado State, but we have a four o'clock kickoff. Yeah, here coming up for the West Virginia Mountaineers and the Wildcats. Oh, man, Arizona, I I project them to beat the snot out of oh West Virginia, but I've been we'll wrong see. a couple we'll times. See. I mean, season. it's gonna. There was a. I was up in uh, Tucson earlier this morning, and there was quite a bit of a. Uh, tailgate crowd setting up already at 11.30, 12 o'clock, so they're ready to roll. They're going to be nice and primed at that yeah. 4 o'clock game. Yeah, I remember uh, getting, what did I do? I ran around uh, I shouldn't have <laughs> the days when... Tail tailgates stay where tailgates stay. Yeah, I think... It's like keep, Vegas. Yeah, I think that's basically the story. <laughs> that we don't <laughs> talk about those things. <laughs> uh, Miami, Florida State. Now... Mm. We're expecting more Florida State to take the absolute beating from Miami. But it used to be a good game. <laughs> yeah, it, used it was to, a rival. They were expecting it to be a good game this year. Who knew Miami was going to be so good? And who knew Florida State wouldn't be? Are they ranked? Yeah, six still. Yeah, so they're yeah. Really good. They're looking really good. They, they're projected to win by 21 points. So and who would have thought? At this time of year, LSU and Texas A&M are undefeated in the SEC. That's so wild. They're playing tonight. Yeah, they're playing. So LSU is number eight, Texas A&M fourteen. That's going to be a huge game, and that's a one. They don't even know how to to rank that. That's so close. Yeah. Michigan, Michigan State. That's a big rivalry game. Penn mm. State versus Wisconsin. That could be actually a pretty good game. Actually, 
I, I don't trust Penn State very don't much. The, don't they play for? No, that's Minnesota and Wisconsin. They play for the Paul Bunyan. Right. And yeah. Was, what do they play for? I'm not sure Michigan the, State. The. In Michigan, I'm not. Yeah, sure. they 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 fight over an old Pontiac at the end. Look it up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Gran Torino. Yeah, there they, we go. Yeah. Anyway. So <laughs> Florida, Kansas versus Kansas State. Squirrel. <laughs> good. Kansas State ranked number 16 Kansas uh, not ranked uh, Duke and SMU what else Go Washington versus Washington State versus San Diego State I, well, I thought Notre Dame and Navy was going to be oh where was team. that <laughs> right there wow <laughs> are you kidding me it was a blow up Notre Dame just beat the snot out of Navy 51-14 Navy no longer has a zero on their on their uh, record yeah oh, Ohio was, State beat up on Nebraska well beat up they only they were losing the whole game oh my gosh they were losing until, up until the fourth quarter that that's Sue crazy Sue Pig holy smokes the Arkansas Razorbacks took it to the Bulldogs in Mississippi State. Sorry if you got some Starkville fans out there, but Mississippi State's got a little bit of growing pains they're going through yeah, right now. They're getting it. Oh, and that game, the baseball game from last night. Woo! Grand slam to end the game. I just flipped it on in the fourth quarter. Yeah. We were sitting there at the game, and I'm like, hey, let's see what's happening with the Dodgers and Yankees. Yeah. Boom. And it was in overtime, and he smokes that. Uh, he, Grand it just, slam. It was just as he was uh, coming up to bat. <laughs> so that was just wild luck. Uh, what else have we got going on? A, a bunch, bunch of hockey. hockey this evening. Yeah, I like hockey, but my uh, Red Wings are not so good anymore. Okay, tomorrow, the NFL. Let's move into the NFL. Yeah, what are we looking at? So tomorrow it's going to be the Buffalo Bills versus the Seattle Seahawks. Tell me who you think is going to take that one. You know. Who do you think is the better quarterback? Oh, Josh Allen. Do you really think so? Yeah, I, I'm a, I, I'm, I'm a somewhat Geno Smith fan, but. You know I'm in love I, with Geno Smith. I know Smith. you are, but he he hasn't stepped up this year to me to a big game yet. Uh, I, I think. There's I too think, much running game involved in, in the Bills. That, yo, that's but, a good point. Well, they can, yeah, the Seahawks is, will have to see if they can step up and stop them. If they stop the run and force Josh to throw, Josh doesn't have too many weapons to throw to anymore. He is, he's such a, yeah. He, <laughs> he doesn't have home. Stephon Diggs. Yeah. You know, and, he doesn't have those guys. But Oh, they just signed Amari Cooper, though. Yeah, they traded for him. You got Amari Cooper, so maybe yeah. we'll see a breakout game for Amari. That's, that's actually the trick. You might want to keep an eye on Amari Cooper. Actually, all of the receivers that got traded. We'll get to it in just a second. Next game. I'm picking the Seahawks, of course. I'll go Bills all day. Yeah, okay, well, that's not going to work out for you. <laughs> <laughs> the Chiefs versus wow. Raiders. Who you got in that one? <laughs> mm, you know I could go on and on all day. I watch I watch those Chief games. I watch practice. I watch uh, preseason. The Hopkins is what I'm waiting for. I know. To see. They just traded a <laughs> – the best part is is they traded a fifth rounder. And if they go to the Super Bowl, it becomes a fourth rounder, which Ooh. would be the last pick in the fourth round, which would be a fifth round draft pick basically. So they traded either a fifth and a sixth round. Uh, anyway. Great pick. They get an incredible wide receiver. They're they're short on. They've been short on wide receivers for Is three he years now. He's getting a little old. I'll take it, dude. We've we've seen old Excuse wide receivers, me. and it, it, once they fall off the cliff, it's obvious. And I don't think he's falling off the cliff yet. Oh, I think no. he's he's getting good separation. And like I say, I think I think he's got the best catch radius out of most of the wide receivers. Maybe not DK Metcalf, but I think he can actually catch lower. Um, like right off the oh, yeah. tops he'll, of his shoes sometimes. He's phenomenal. His hands. That ball. They look like they're too big. He looks like he's got soccer gloves on. Have you ever seen soccer gloves? It looks like Mickey Mouse mitts. That's how big his hands are. He's a freak. I love him. Big hands for sure. I'm picking this, uh, the Chiefs in this one. Um, next up would be Ravens and the Browns. Oh, gosh. I wish we had Mayor McCaw. Mayor McCaw was going to come in. Bless him. He had something he had to run and do. But... One of these next couple weeks, he's going to walk through this door. None of us are going to expect it. He's going to walk in and just join us. But Browns versus Ravens, I think I'm taking the Ravens. That offense for uh, the Browns is kind of gross. Well, they're, and Yeah, and then the Ravens are starting to really fire in all cylinders with Mark Andrews. They're running uh, healthy again. Yeah, yeah you've got end. two wide receivers and now. D. Henry. Dude, I, I think they've got D. Henry who? 
Derrick Henry. No, Derrick Henry. D. Henry, duh. Okay, but they've got two stud tight ends. I don't like any of their wide receivers. I That guy that uh, likely is the guy that is super fast. He might as well be a, a 240-pound uh, t- uh, wide receiver because he's got great hands and he's super fast. Um, Indy, Indy Colts versus the Texans. Who Ooh, do you got? Houston. Yeah. I know they're favored, but... I mean, and they're at home, so I'm going to take Houston, too. Yeah, Houston had been... They've been on the road for a little bit. Now, this is the fun one. Green Bay versus the Jags. The Jags win, and finally, Trevor Lawrence is looking really good. I know. Move on. What a great run. Yeah, he's a monster. What a dude. Um, I'm taking the Jags. Of course you do. <laughs> you do that all the, way, all the time. I'll do it until <laughs> until they prove me wrong. Yeah. They keep proving me wrong. I'll go with Green Bay. Okay, that's I'm I will probably Ooh, lose, but oh, no. seeing the, seeing them go in the all white uniforms was pretty neat last week with all the way even the white helmet. Yeah, was like Green Bay changing. It I've up never there. seen that before. That was such a weird look. The the White Bay uh, Packers is what mm-hmm. someone called them. Uh, Titans versus Lions. Now, <laughs> yeah, you got Detroit. Detroit. So that last blue collar. That game last week, I pre- I predicted uh, the other team who who they beat last week. It was uh, the Rams. No, was it the Rams? They had such a huge game. Yeah, it was the Rams. Yeah, it was, uh, anyway, uh, Lions looked really good. I predicted the wrong thing, and uh, this week I think I'm gonna take. Oh yeah, you got to take the Lions in this case. Yeah, I'm going with Detroit for sure. Atlanta versus Tampa Bay. Wow, they got the Atlanta. They're projecting Atlanta on this. Yes. I'm so, not sure I'd do that. Well, you lose Mike Evans for three three to four weeks with a very, very angry hamstring. Yeah. Oh, they're out of all their wide receivers. Chris Godwin, Godwin's done. dislocated his ankle. He's out for the year. McMillan. McMillan's fine. Okay. And so we everybody's been asking who are we gonna trade for? You're not gonna uh, trade for you just adjust. And then that and that that offensive coordinator from the Rams that we got over the over, off season, who's now the OC at Tampa? Oh, right. It's just gonna adjust. We got Kate Otten at tight end. Well, that was what I was gonna say. Is Kate Otten's got some great. I've hands. been saying this for weeks now. If you take Rashad White and just put him in a slot, he is a receiver. Yeah. <laughs> Even though he's much, much, he he's come to the league as a running back. You can throw the ball to that kid, and he will run after the catch. Is his that's what he's capable of much more than. Everybody else, they got Tucker and they got Irving in the backfield, so they're not hurting. Yeah, and uh, you can move. You so got next. I'm going to go with Tampa on this because I feel that they're going to come out come out ahead with a little bit better performance, and, and they're going to you it's know play for their guys, and they're going to play for their who they do. I want to do something. For I'm them. taking Tampa Bay too. You're you're not wrong. But no. if, if 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 Baker, you're going to watch our show later. <laughs> Keep that other stuff off the camera, please. Oh, he's chewing on the yeah, well, not too. Yeah, we're gonna get that. He he got off with with a little slap on the hand, but still. Yeah. Come on, make some better decisions. Yeah. Guys. There's there's people that are watching the games. So Jets and Patriots. Woof. I'm going Jets. Yeah, Jets by a bunch actually. Well, not by a bunch. Who's the quarterback with the Patriots right now? Is it Brissett? No, I think it's. Oh, oh, Drake May. He Drake had a good game. He played well last yeah. week. That was his first week. True. Against the Jets. And they seem to be... Well, the Jets have uh, Devontae Adams. Yeah, they got... They the, just... They got three Adams. trades, all so the wide now receivers. He's, now he's in week two into the system. So yeah, I'm going to go with the Jets, too. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Cardinals versus Miami. Miami is protected by four and a half points. I don't see it. At oh, home. wait a minute. Uh, what's Tua is clear. Yes, he so is. That, Dude, I'm taking Miami. I love I love Arizona. I want Arizona to win, but Miami, I think, has this one. Yeah, they might have to really, really work hard and play clean um, as far as the Cardinals and do what they need to do to come out on top. And that's an away game. Yeah, that's in, in Miami. Miami. But the weather won't bother us because we've been playing at 90-something degrees. Yeah, it's the humidity, but, but yeah. I, I don't think it affects these guys. True. They've been they've been in and outdoors all all year long. Uh, Philadelphia versus Cincinnati. Hmm. I know two two like highly projected teams at the beginning of the year. Uh, two good quarterbacks. 
I prefer, uh, I, I like Joe Burrow. I think Touchdown. He's, there you go. And did you see the score? It was great. Yeah. It was right in there. It was that little counter pass. That was 28-28. Right that was at the end of the no, half. No, no, this was the... This was, was that, 21? No, this was early in the game when they finally first scored their first. This is barely just the beginning. It's 14-7 right now. Or 6. Oh, okay. So, anyway. Yeah. So, uh, Eagles, Cincinnati. I'm taking the Bengals. I love Joe Burrow. I, I hate Joe Burrow, but I think he's the second best quarterback in the NFL. Hmm. Act, him and Trevor Lawrence. Second best. Nah, I think that... Philly's still not got everything firing on all cylinders for some reason. There's I still, know. There's still some what chemistry is that about? issues. Their defensive line is so good. Jalen Carter throwing people out of the Jordan. way. Jordan. But all those dudes. Yeah, he's a beast. They're incredible. Yeah. I just don't know. The offense can't get clicking, so I think a bang is full of Yeah. Yeah, back in, back in the... I don't know what they call it, the Tiger's Den or something like that. Wow. I call Bengals it, Den. I thought that was Mahomes Mahomes North or something like wow. that. There we go. <laughs> Listen to this guy. New Orleans Saints with the Chargers. Who do you Both got? teams are banged up. Dude. They can, but Kamara, if, if Alvin Kamara gets going, it's over. One has a starting quarterback, the other one doesn't. Yeah. I mean, I'm taking the Chargers. Saints. Oh, Herbert's the one that's playing. Yeah, and so it's like four of his, uh, but his the rest of his team is down. Yeah, you got Bosa down too. Oh gosh, I'm I'm still taking. I like the Chargers. I got to go because, NFC South. I got I got to stick with my my conference. I guess he on that one. So last week he <laughs> uh, he did really really well with the picks, and as soon <laughs> he calls me at 10 p.m. at night, I'm <laughs> in bed asleep, done. <laughs> Hey, uh, how, uh, hey, those uh, picks look pretty good. I know, how about those picks, John? <laughs> I'm like, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I got drool. <laughs> uh, we also had the, we got the Bears and the Ooh. Commanders. Rookie versus rookie at QB. I thought, I thought they were going to hold Daniels out, though. Oh, he still got a rib issue. I, they're actually holding Maybe. out both quarterbacks. They're holding out both quarterbacks in that game. Yeah, I saw that. I hope, really? I hope, yeah, it's Daniels is definitely out, but they they were talking about holding out uh, number one overall pick, Williams. Yeah, Williams. Really? Caleb, what a beast. So who do you got in that? I, both defenses are studly. It's a home game for the Washington Commanders. I'm taking Washington. Yeah. I hate I hate the Washington Commies so much, but they look like a pretty good team They're this good year. Team. I think they pull it off just because of... More athlete, more athletes. Okay, yeah. Panthers, Broncos. This is a wild one. I don't believe that. Bo Eleven Nicks. point spread. Bo Nix. Bo Nix versus. Tear it up. Yeah, he's like I said. I think he is the most pro, like most ready to play. He's twenty five years old, rookie, right? Like he's been playing pro ball for two yeah. years. Yeah, <laughs> so much. like He is the most pro-ready quarterback in the best system for him. That short passing game, super accurate. I think uh, you're right. The Broncos, they are projected by 11. Yeah. Now, this one, this is an old-school rivalry. I miss miss those games so much back in the days of Cowboys Cowboys and Niners. Cowboys and Niners. This is... What do you do? You got you got a beat up Niners team. You got a Cowboys team that doesn't like. I I don't know what they're gonna do from week to week. Like Dak could throw for a million yards. He could take a knee on every play. I don't know what he's gonna do. <laughs> I never. I, I don't trust him. I oh, know it's crazy. I oh. trust Purdy. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Niners to. And it's at home. Do what they gotta do. They got Kittle. Yeah, Kittle's, Kittle's healthy. And he's been getting dude, some huge catches. I I really wish that in some clutch times. In clutch time, that's a really good point. I, I wish they used him more. Is one of the sad things, but okay, Giants and Steelers. <laughs> what? No question. You got the Steelers. Yeah, Steel Steelers are looking hot right now. Russell Wilson comes in. I've been saying it all year long. He is he's a uh, game manager. A uh, smart dude, throws the ball, knows how to hand the ball off, doesn't make a ton of mistakes. I like Justin Fields, but, like, having a duo where you've got a, a game manager <laughs> that's a beast, and then you got who, what do we got going on? Oh, Mayor McCaw saying, sorry, we couldn't, I couldn't make dude, it today. Dude, don't What's apologize. Up, it's all Mayor good. Mayor McCaw checking in. God bless you. Like, What's come in any time. What's the matter, Coach Keo? What are you getting upset about? Like, <laughs> come on, Jay. What's going on? What? 
Tell me, give me, give me some more details. Here. <laughs> what did I do? I know, what I know, did I Because I'm hating on his, you know, his Patriots. Oh. <laughs> hating on the Pats, probably. I don't know. Steel. I'm going to take the Steelers in this Giants game, but this is one of those games that I don't trust. This is one of those games that I've seen where the Giants, back in the day when they had uh, Peyton, uh, uh, Manning, uh, Eli. Eli Manning, yeah. They would do these crazy upsets, just like when they won the Super Bowl. Uh, I always, I, I have a hard time projecting the Giants, no matter who the coach is, no matter what the team is. They always have a crazy upset. But I'm going to take the Steelers on this one. Everybody says I could be the Giants' doppelganger for head coach. <laughs> You're a swin brother for sure, Dable. <laughs> go, goatee and everything. And yeah, you guys are and twins. Complain of blue and all that. <laughs> We're looking at Thursday night football. Yeah, let's see. Up, you know. What what day is that? Is that 31st? Let's yes, see. it is. Houston Texans and the Jets. Whoa. I'm taking the, the Texans, but we don't know who's going to be healthy, of course. So anytime we do these ones way out in advance, those Thursday night games, who knows who's going to be playing? Because we're picking them not for this week, but for the next week. But I will take the Texans. I'm going to have to go with Houston right now. Jets at home. Yeah, even though the Jets are there, it's still, it's still a great atmosphere. Yeah. And a great thing that CJ is doing with that offense, and he knows how to move those guys around and, and work with him. And they have great chemistry, so I, it's dangerous. He's, but he's such a smart quarterback. Oh, I, it kills I'll, me. I'll, I'll go back on the Patriots game and flip my, my, my choice. I'll go with the Pats because they're due. Drake May is going to have a bust out game. Yes, and, he is you know, good. He's he's the real deal. <clears throat> Let's see how that goes. But and Jess- there you go, Coach Keo. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> love you, bud. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, it's awesome that we got everybody checking in today. Thank you so much to Ed Morris. Thank you, uh, Mayor McCaw. Even though you didn't come in, we love you and would want you to come in next time and that we get to say that this dude comes in and visits us. And anybody else. Oh, we, we had Nash. Comment. If you guys want to come in and, and be part of the show, feel free to get up in touch with us. Yeah. Uh, you know, leave a comment or say, hey, I want to I want to you know talk to you about coming in and talking. Whatever the case may be, if you're from St. David, if you're, if you're a – uh, youth sports coach, and you want to talk about some upcoming stuff, and we we want to get that kind of atmosphere going with with our show too. Get the the upcoming seasons coming up. I know there's a new flag football season that's going to start Dude. here soon. Oh, and oh, then, oh, oh. We... I didn't talk flag football. Flag football. Uh, oh, yeah. seven zero. Jeff and I covered covered that for uh, Cool FM this week. Young ladies are playing some real football. So that flag football team, um, I think that this is one of those chances. They have a winning record. They have, I believe it's eight Eight and two. two. Yeah. And they're going to the playoffs. This is when you strike, when you've got a new team in a new sport. This doesn't happen in men's sports almost ever. But women's sports, and well, you know, many sports in general, like when you – Bring up a new sport, a new sport altogether to a division or any kind of um, like school, you have the chance like to really uh, take advantage of everybody's lack of knowledge of the game. And we've got a great coach, we've got great girls, and we've got a great town uh, checking in on them. So Buena Sierra Vista has done a great job of supporting their community. Mm-hmm. And that's what I love about this community. So support your community. Say hi to Ed Morse. Uh, buy Jared a pizza. He is, <laughs> this wow. dude is hungry. So oh, gosh. feel free. That's what this whole thing is. our QR code up for, for getting John some coffee. <laughs> I he need coffee. He always falls asleep all the time. Uh, this is caffeinated, believe it or not. <laughs> it really kidding. is. It's caffeinated ice water, and I chug it just to stay awake. <laughs> um, and if you could, like, buy Jared a $15 pizza, we would absolutely <laughs> love that. Wow. We'll, we'll split some. We got Little Caesars right next door. We'll make use of that money. So, <laughs> but we'll keep our equipment going and have <laughs> good good stuff to hang around and and pay provide. for some of this stuff. Cool yeah. FM with like Todd comes on and he gives us this great big banner. Um, thank you to Todd. Thank you to Cool FM. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Wicked all Limits, our, all of our sponsors, all of our sponsors, and SSVC. Like all these, all these people that support sports here in the community let us know we would love to be a part of it with you what a great job again last night we had we had todd up there with 
running the camera for yeah. us, and we had a great time uh, at, at Moran and just oh. seeing those boys play their hearts out, and they gave it their all. Um, you know, came up a little bit short with time on the clock or whatever the case may be. They they got some things to clean up this week, and, and Coach Thomas will get them ready and his staff, and we get to stay at home the next two weeks. Uh, finish strong, I think we really can, and really just drop the hammer on both of these teams. Sure. And then Saturday morning, we might have to skip our show that Saturday morning following the last game and go to the watch party because Coach Thomas always has a watch party for State to see where we're going to be. Whoa, so if we could, if we could broadcast we to, live from we'll the be watch party. On the field live. With Coach Thomas and the and the Colts, <laughs> that would we'll, be we'll go live and let you know who is our first opponent in the state playoffs, and it might be a home game. <laughs> oh, a the, game! I here. don't know if we've ever hosted, as far as I can remember. I asked my mom last night because she's a graduate of '74. I was like, "Mom, do you remember any kind of home games for playoffs back in?" The, she goes, "I don't really recall that." So. We might have to get a hold of some people here in the in no archives in the area, but Coach McCaw, maybe Mayor McCaw, you might know some, some oh, playoffs. I'm, and I had I had a few questions for Mayor McCaw. I wanted to ask him how much he weighed when he was a wide receiver. Well, he was about 220, 210. <laughs> Dude, was I, I was like looking at his height. And I'm like, big. he's like six he three. Big. How could he be like? He probably maybe one ninety or two hundred. Even still. then, still, yeah, you know it. And he and, played at NAU, got yeah. recruited, and, yeah. And we got to ask him what his his love his of son, Alabama. His son, was, his son was almost the same size. He was huge. <sighs> Trey, well, my question you is, doing well, kid. If you watch our show, we'll have you on if you ever come back home for a visit. Come on in and hang out with us. It'll be a good time. That'd or be, Mayor and Trey. Oh, Bring we'll them in. We'll have a good time. We can do the show from anywhere. So, on the field, Cool FM. Cool Thanks FM for tuning in, sports. guys. Thanks so much for coming in and watching and hanging out with us for about 45 minutes today and talk about some awesome games last night. And we look forward to start spreading the word now. Get your people, get your people together. Get your family. Like and share. Like and share our show. And and let let let's go crazy and pack the house at Buena the next two weeks. And subscribe to the YouTube and, channel. And hit our subscribe <clears throat> button on our Cool FM Live Sports. You can watch the, all the previous games. Yep. Some great the more footage. of these we get, the better we can put the broadcast yep. in. And I think the YouTube is really the way to go. Yes, so yes. we're working on it. All right, Jared, close us up. Well, we got oh we got a good return coming right here with. This oh, is the look Dyson. at this! Yes, comes right. He, boom! Yeah, just, he does. You he can, was relentless. You can tell he's a, <laughs> doing everything he could to get yardage last night. You can tell he was a defensive player by the way he runs the ball. Yes. You can kind of tell those things because yes. they lower the shoulder, they lower their head when they. <laughs> but I appreciate everybody. Like a, like we said, thank you to our our major new guy that's putting all the sports Dan. on the on the on the. YouTube and yep. everything and doing our highlights and our wonderful new sports partner Ed Morse Motor Company. We know we know we're gonna see some exciting things happen with that dealers all those dealerships and and all the people that are working there and doing everything. Go go take a visit, walk around, see some new vehicles and get yourself maybe a, a new car or, or trade ins and you know, see what see what your check options it out. are. Just check it out. See some, you know, there's some good service there. Uh at at the Nissan dealership, I love those guys over there. So, shout out to them. Always taking good care of me and my my big old beast, <laughs> the Armada. But uh, uh, thank you so much again on the field with Jared and John. And we'll see you next time. Thank Have you. a good weekend.